Hi, I'm Tim Wodoslowski with C3 Controls. In this video, we will talk about the different types of contactor devices and a little bit about their history. So let's get started. There are three main types of contactors, the knife blade switch, the manual controller, and the magnetic controller. The knife blade switch is used earlier in the late 1800s. It was probably the first ever contactor that was used to control, I mean, meaning start or stop, electric motors. The switch consisted of a metal strip which would drop onto a contact. The switch had a lever for pulling the switch down or pushing it back up. Back then, one had to level the knife blade switch into the closed position by standing next to it. This is the kind of switch you would see in those old Frankenstein movies. However, there's a problem with this method of switching, other than reanimating the dead. This method caused the contacts to wear out quickly since it was difficult to manually open and close the switch fast enough to avoid arcing. As a result of this, the soft copper switches underwent corrosion, which further made them vulnerable to moisture and dirt. Over the years, the size of electric motors increased, which further created the need for larger currents to operate them. This created potential physical danger to operate such high current carrying switches, thus leading to a serious safety concern. In spite of doing several mechanical improvements, the knife blade switch could not be developed further due to the problems and the risks of dangerous operation and the short life of the contacts. Since the knife blade switch became potentially dangerous to use, engineers came up with another contactor device, which offered a number of features that were missing in the knife blade switch. This device was referred to as a manual controller and included features that made them safe to operate because the unit was physically encased. The physical side was much smaller and the single brake contacts replaced with double brake contacts. As the name implies, double brake contacts can open or close a circuit in two places at the same time. Thus, even in a smaller space, it allowed the use of higher currents. Double brake contacts divide the connection in such a way that it forms two sets of contacts. However, the switch or button of the manual controller is not operated remotely and is physically attached to the controller. The power circuit was engaged once the manual controller is activated by the operator. Once activated, it carries the electricity to the load. Soon, manual controllers replaced knife blade switches completely, and even today, different variations of these contacts are being used. Finally, the magnetic contactor. This is the most common type of contactor used in industrial control applications because of its advanced design. It operates electromechanically, allowing it to be operated remotely and does not require human intervention. Thus, it helps eliminate the risks involved with manual operation and putting operating personnel in potential danger because only a small amount of electric current is required by the magnetic contactor to open or close the circuit. Well, that's it for this video. We here at C3 Controls hope the information provided was helpful to you. To download the companion white paper and to find other white papers, go to c3controls.com forward slash blog. For more information on the basics of a contactor and the required standards and ratings, be sure to check out our other videos on contactors. Thank you for watching and have a great day from C3 Controls.